Jesus, what you've been through, Lorna, it's, it's inconceivable. I'm awfully sorry. Thank you, Doctor. Tell me, what do you need? I'm at your service. I think my daughter is still alive. Can you help me find her? Of course I will. I'll do everything I can to help you. However, it's only fair to let you know, Lorna. I've worked on cases like this before. And sometimes these children don't want to be found. Right. Uh, what do you mean? Adoptees can often feel resentful towards their birth mothers. They can feel abandoned. So perhaps you're not ready for that emotionally or psychologically. No. I'm ready. Believe me, I am. Hmm. I understand you were admitted to a psychiatric hospital once. And you had counseling afterwards that didn't end well. How would you know that? Well, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't go into your background. Is it true the police have spoken to you in connection with an arson attack? And nothing was proven. And it's not the first time you've been in trouble with the guards. No, please. Is it? Trespassing? Please. Criminal damage? I'm a good person. Intimidating behavior? Intimidate? Who am I intimidating? And all the lies, Lorna. I'm not lying. Like, what am I, what am I lying about? Someone told me that you turned up unannounced, pretending that you wanted to enroll your no, child. No, no, I didn't. That wasn't that, that, that wasn't has to stop. I wasn't doing it on People purpose. People are worried about you. They're not scared. listening to me. You're not fucking oh, listening to me. I'm just trying to find my child. I'm just trying to find... I'm fucking lying. I'm not fucking lying. <laughs> And what would your child think if she could see you now? All these stories you've been telling yourself, they're making you unwell. If you continue like this, you could be hospitalized without your consent. Indefinitely. Do you understand? And we don't want that for you. We leave it at that so. Thank you for talking to me, Lorna.